It's a win or go home game in the Northwoods League, ninth inning, five run lead. Who cares? Watch this play. Five, six, three, put out. You're out. The old tip drill from the third baseman shortstop. He knew it was coming. Let's go. Let's win this thing. Off the third baseman, hangs in the air, glove, transfer, hell of a throw, and sure, out. Ump says out. Nice play. They went on to lose, but nice play. That's something you missed that you never planned on watching, and this is everything you missed that you never planned on watching. Today's episode brought to you by DraftKings Sportsbook. Boop, boop. Bam! Florida State's women's soccer team is very good. North Florida's women's soccer team is not as good, but that's fine because Florida State's like really good. They're ranked number one. They got a 25 game win streak going on. Taylor Huff, number 28, she's about to take a corner. The crowd, they're like, we can't really get up for this. Here's the first attempt at the corner kick. Ready? The lefty boots it and off of North Florida, straight out of bounds. So now we get a chance to do it again. And what do good teams do? They make corrections. A little higher, straight into the back of the net for the fourth goal. They would go on to win 10 nothing. the first time they scored 10 goals since 2007. The last time they lost was December 2nd, 2022. They went 22 0 Oh, and one last year. Looks like they're going to do it again. 10 nothing victory. Corner kick directly in for Taylor Huff, who scored three in the game. Don't mess with Florida State women's soccer team. Or try your best, because they like the competition. Madrid versus Paris in American football. Gridiron. I guess this is European football, not American. Look at that. Steven Duncan connects with Eduardo Perez for a touchdown. That puts them up 12 to 6. They're going to celebrate. Little Eiffel Tower. Uh, uh. Playing against Paris. I don't know. Seems targeted. Seems rude. The Paris Musketeer says, well, whatever. We got it. We'll just give it to our quarterback, and he'll just run it. Okay? Zachary Edwards. Designed run. Gets them a ton of yards. One minute to go in the game. What are they going to do? Run that same play. Everyone run out. And then I'll just run. It gets the first down. Powers through. Touchdown. Ties it up. We're going to overtime. Madrid and Paris. Musketeers versus Bravos in overtime. Edwards with the rush. Two in a row. Seems easy. Just do that. We go into overtime. All right, and Madrid, they got the ball first, and it's just an awful snap. Awful snap, and then a fumble, Ruski, a loss of 20 yards. The Musketeers jump all over it. They're in position now. They got the ball. They're 8-2. and two. Madrid is 7-3. and three. This is going to help them out. I mean, stop fighting, guys. Stop fighting, all right? The refs will sort this out. No need. A field goal to win it in overtime. Paris, can they do it? Yes, they can. Odd to me that Paris is wearing black unis. I wouldn't associate those two together, uh, but maybe I'm wrong and everyone else is right. And they're celebrating on the field because that just clinched them a spot in the postseason. Madrid, on the other hand, they're going to have to scratch and claw. They're going to have to earn that spot. As I said earlier, today's episode of Things You Miss is brought to you by our good friends over at DraftKings. And they've got a new cool offer for you. You bet just $5 and you will instantly get 250 in bonus bets plus one month of NFL Plus Premium football season's kicking off, so got to get in on the touchdown action. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use promo code MIST and bet just five dollars on any wager. Get two hundred and fifteen bonus bets instantly. Promo code MIST. Next up, Pro Air Hockey. We got Jose Mora and Jacob Weissman. They've each won two games. First to three wins, six six. So next goal wins. And look at them. Look at the ref just sitting there looking back and forth. Got a good view. Got a good view. Okay. Here's Weissman. Let's see what he can do. Floating, flowing. Ooh, it looked like he beat him. Let me go back and show you. Okay. Now he's going to push it up, and that puts Mora. Wait, is Weissman? Yeah, right. Weissman's got the, the puck, and Mora's hand comes back to defend, which now there's more lanes, right? 
and Weissman chooses that side and looks like he has it, but it slips out, and now Jose Mora's on the attack. He's got the puck. Air hockey. Here we go. Miss. Gains the rebound. Another one. Controls the rebound. Another one. In. He wins. Big old scream. Crowd behind him goes wild. Referee clapping. I don't know. You don't see that in a lot of other sports. You don't see the ref clapping. Uh, I guess he was a Jose Mora fan and not a Jacob Weissman fan. And how'd he get by him? Same move, I guess. You just push it forward, make him react. He didn't really react. Oh, he just went the wrong way and he beat him short side. Oh, big scream. Big scream. Weissman's ranked number nine. Jose Mora unranked. So he took down. He took him down. Wow. Minor league baseball, and this is a play you've seen before, but a reaction post play that uh, you haven't. First pitch, up and away, ball. Okay, you got runners on the corners, tied, 1-1 game. Here we go. Lefty on the bump. That one is fouled up. First baseman got a beat on it, and over the railing grabs the catch. You've seen that before, right? It's good. I think we did one last week. We've done a couple over the railing. Really nice grab. What you haven't seen is the player who makes the catch get up and try to fight people in the dugout. So he was disoriented. He thought, I guess maybe he wanted to throw the ball to stop the runner from scoring. Number three was just trying to help him out, make sure he was doing all right. And then and then they're like, he's like, hey, maybe I'll take a seat. And they're like, yeah, dog, you all right? Like, just trying to help. Kind of a, an odd scene. I hope he's good. I hope he didn't bang his head and just went in the fight or flight. It was a nice grab, but they're taking a much needed break because that reaction was a little bit wild, huh? He made the catch. Eventually they check on him and he's going to come back out. He's feeling good about himself. It's a great grab. Boom. I mean, maybe he wanted some more help earlier, but he's getting up over there. Boom. Full flip. Let me help you out. And he just kind of runs, <laughs> runs into the guy. Uh, he's not excited about it. Don't help me. Don't help me. Don't help me. Or banged his head. I was feeling out of sorts. That's everything you missed that you never planned on watching. We'll be back next week with another episode. Fan of the week. Who do you got? 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 Thank you for watching. Appreciate you guys.